everyone, how are you? Presley and I just finished bath time and we wanted to come on here to talk about meal prep for the babies. <laughs> and I want to kind of go over some of the go-tos that I have. Yeah. I know there's a few new moms here, so hopefully she's gonna be a trooper for the next 10 minutes or so. Um, from the jump, I started her on oatmeal in the morning. And originally I was doing, um, I've always done gluten-free rolled oats and I think it's Bob's Red Mill. So I was doing that and then I was dicing up fresh apples and first I would dice those up, and boil them until they got nice and soft, added cinnamon, added some butter, added um, a little bit of stevia, I think, just a little bit to sweeten and then um, the oats and just kind of let that like simmer. So that's what I started her on. Now, uh, because I wanted to add a little bit more protein in there, I am doing the rolled oats with cinnamon and butter and some of my vegan protein powder. So it's vanilla vegan protein powder, a little bit of Himalayan sea salt, the pink salt, and that's that. So I make bulk of her oatmeal and um, and I put, so if you have never seen these little things, they came with the baby bullet, I think, is like the little like baby blender. And so what you can do, and this is what I did when I first started like pureeing her food, is you put them in these little slots and pull them out, so you wanna freeze them. And then once they're frozen, I made the mistake the first time, I was like trying to pluck them out and it took me forever. So you either like let them sit out for five minutes and then do it, but you literally just like push it and then they pluck out. But, um, but the easier way is just to run the top under hot water for like a minute and they just come out nice and easy. So from there, you're gonna put them in a big Ziploc baggie, date it and label what food it is. So I started doing that just like every time I would cook, I would do like tons in one setting and then, um, or one sitting and it would last forever. Well, I mean, it seemed, you know, a couple weeks or so, which is great because you don't wanna have to be doing it every single day. You wanna cut down on time. We don't have very much time. And when these babies are hungry, they're hungry. So oatmeal is always on hand. Like, I mean, I will, every couple weeks, I'll make a big, big batch. So she loves that. And then, oh, and, and in hers, I actually add the, um, the hemp hearts too. So uh, if you're curious about that, I don't really measure. Um, the good thing is they need fats, they need healthy fats. So um, just go to your taste. But butter is something I use with her and her recipes a lot. It seems like if she doesn't, if she's not so into something that I cook, I'm not gonna lie, I add more butter and she's like all about it. So, and I don't feel so bad because she doesn't get a lot of animal products. She doesn't get that fat from there. Um, I do use either earth balance butter or melt because they're vegan. Um, when she's with her dad, there's no telling what he's giving her because he's now, um, I was supplying him with the food, but now um, I think he's just kind of giving her whatever. So, and if you see, she has like a shiner. Apparently they had um, a playground issue or something. I don't know. I don't know. Ignorance is bliss. Anyways, I digress. So, but yeah, when you pluck them out, this is what it looks like. I mean, you can imagine they're just frozen little, little pieces like that. So the older they get, you know, when they're younger, they're going to eat one per meal, but then now she, she would probably eat two. And I'm not doing that so much now other than for her oatmeal because the stuff I'm making her is hearty and bigger and chunky and so it doesn't really make sense to do it like that. So now I'm kind of in that crossroads and if anyone has any suggestions, let me know. But you know, like I made that vegan mac and cheese with the chickpea pasta. So last time I used the shells, this time I used the uh, spirals. And last time I used broccoli and mushrooms, this time I used kale and mushrooms. This girl, is obsessed with mushrooms. Like I have never seen anyone devour mushrooms the way she does. Like I don't even, look, she actually, 
Are you looking? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So there is one little, like there was like a little extra oatmeal. And so I put it in there and you can see this girl's tearing it apart. It's frozen and it's like a lollipop. She's loving it. So, um, yes, but so that's what we're doing. What she's really liking lately and you're getting so much protein, so much fiber, um, and I did post the recipe, so Kasha, if you look, scroll back, you can find the vegan mac and cheese. I suggest making it for your little one because she really likes it. Again, when I start with the mushrooms, I dice up, and it has to be portobello. So I dice up portobello mushroom, and then I literally just scoop out some butter and saute it in a skillet, let it simmer until the little chunks are nice and, and chewy, and she loves it. So I did the same thing with kale. Tonight was the first time she's really had kale cooked because she she loves like eating my um, kale salad with vinegar, but she's never had it cooked. And I mean, like I'm not a cooked kale person either. I'd rather have it like the crunchy, chewy, and not like the soggy. But so I sauteed that in butter too, mix those together, and then I added some of that vegan like the queso cheese and a little bit of the Parmesan cheese and some other um, things, which I'll post a little, um, I'll post a picture of what I put in this, um, in the comments. So uh, that is pretty much it with that. And so what I've been doing is I've just been bagging it up because obviously her portions are bigger now and freezing that because it seems to be easy just to pluck out the whole thing again, for anyone that I haven't told this to, make sure that you are microwaving in glass. I know you might be like, of course, Sarah, why would we do otherwise? But my friend who is in research for children with autism and just different developmental issues, she said that the one thing over like the past decade that she can say that may be a cause of children having issues is plastic. So any type of warmed up plastic, right? Plastic. Uh, so yes, make sure that you're not doing anything with plastic, even if it's BPA free, no plastic. So, and then you can see here that I may, I, this is straight up mushrooms. You guys, she's like a freak with the mushrooms. So oatmeal I always have on hand, mushrooms, some type of a chickpea pasta, something. And, ooh, sweet potatoes. Um, I gave like all the stuff to the sitter already, but another go-to, I chunk up, so I, I peel sweet potatoes and I dice them up in little cubes and then I use butter. Well, actually with that, I pretty much do avocado and, let me see here, it is, where is it? It's half coconut, half avocado. Yeah, half avocado, half coconut oil. So I drizzle that on the top. I sprinkle cinnamon and I do a little bit of stevia, mix it all together. And then I think I do, I use a little bit of the pink Himalayan sea salt. That's all the salt that I ever use is either garlic salt or the pink salt. So I put that on there and then mix it all around and then I bake it on 375 in a big dish. So I make probably like four big yams at a time and because she loves sweet potatoes and it's a great finger food. So um, that's what I do, let it bake for probably, I don't know, like 35, 45 minutes until it's nice and you know, you don't want it to be super mushy because when you freeze it and then reheat it, it's gonna be like one big mushy mess. A little bit of firmness still, uh, but that's a go-to that I freeze up like crazy. And yeah, when and I'm, I freeze pretty much everything. Like I'll make an Asian dish, which I'll eventually post, and it has quinoa and vegetables, like bamboo shoots, water chestnuts, broccoli, and tofu that's another thing that she's really liking is tofu so i will the the quick things are the way to go i mean for me too i don't have a ton of time either so i will press the tofu and i'll squeeze out um the the liquid and then i will throw it in a skillet i will literally put a couple scoops of butter and teriyaki sauce in there and that is it 
and then I'm just very gentle. When you're cooking tofu, you wanna have a very, very, very good pan nonstick. No, 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 no. You see your aunt. Did you see your aunt? That's why you got on there. That's why you got on there, you stinkers. You stinkers. So uh, that's, and then I saute it until it's brown and she loves it, loves it, loves it. Say hi, say hi, Aunt Lala. Hi, Aunt Lala. So that's, oh my goodness, excuse you. Oh. She's just burping, she's burping like crazy. So tofu, and then like the other day I mixed it with mushrooms and she was like all about it. So quinoa, that Asian thing, quinoa gets a little bit messy. So I'm just warning you, the quinoa, you need to make sure that you're feeding them. But at this point, I wanna give her things that she can feed herself. Another thing that's just very easy, I do give her egg from time to time. So that is the easiest way I tell people in the beginning to get vegetables into your kid is making an omelet. And I don't even fold it over. I literally just have the egg in there and then I already have cooked up pepper, like bell pepper and broccoli, mushrooms, whatever you wanna throw in there and just sprinkle it in there, cook it in some butter. I'm not kidding you, kids need fat. So butter, butter, butter. I always suggest butter over oil because it tastes better, in my opinion. So you add a little bit of butter and a child will eat it. I mean, I'm all about that butter. Toast, she's all about the toast if it has butter. I mean, I'm all about the butter too. Um, so I'm just trying to think of different things that she really likes that are still somewhat healthy and they can feed themselves because let's be honest, that is like, the time that they're sitting there occupying themselves, you can actually be sitting down or standing up, eating a meal, and I don't wanna say in peace, but you know what I'm saying. So the more butter, the better. The more butter, the better. You getting tired? So, yes. Um, what else, what else, what else? What else? Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I have different concoctions. Like I'll take sweet potato, and then I will, like when she was younger, I would mash it with chickpea to get some protein in there. And then I'd add a little salsa and a little bit of bell pepper in there. And that was like a Mexican sweet potato mash. Little things like that. Just take whatever you eat and then you might need to sweeten it up a little bit by adding some sweet potato, um, adding some carrots, but she's into um, that kale mix that you can get from Costco or from Kroger. And it's like the sweet kale mix that has like, everything is like shredded and diced up and there's like uh, Brussels sprouts and everything. I will literally put that down on a cutting sheet and then I'll take a butcher knife and then chop it. So, you know, cause there's like long pieces of that broccoli slaw in there that will get lodged in her throat. So make sure you dice it up finely. And I make, a homemade balsamic vinaigrette type deal. So um, yeah, it's like a little bit of honey mustard. And again, I don't think that one is vegan. So you guys, I mean, you do what you can. So I, I mix that with some balsamic vinegar and then a little bit of garlic salt, a little bit of stevia. And for me, I add red pepper flakes, but for her, I don't. And she's had mine and she's totally fine, but sometimes she'll catch like a flake and she starts like, <sighs> You know, and I feel kind of bad, but so that's it. And she just loves it. So I think, you know, whatever you ate oh. when you were pregnant and what you were eating when you're nursing, if you nursed, that is what their palate has already formed to. So she loves anything vinegar because I am a vinegar fiend. She loves vegetables. She loves oatmeal. I mean, it, the apple does not fall far from the tree. So whatever you do when your child is in the womb and when you are nursing is what they are gonna be used to eating. So uh, anyone that's planning on having any babies, just keep that in mind too. It's a lot easier when they've already tasted the food than if they've never had it and then later in life you're trying to like get them introduced to all these other foods. <laughs> so look at her, she's just going to town on this. She, you're just going to town, you're burping up a storm. It's not ladylike, I tell you. It's just not ladylike. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if you have any questions, I know Kasha, you're going to be watching this and you're probably going to have some questions. Drop it in the comments. And anyone else that has any suggestions on recipes, 
Oh, another thing is, and I'm gonna do a different one on this, but I don't give her cow's milk, so I make her almond milk smoothies because I tried to give her almond milk in the beginning and she just wasn't having it. So I make something, like it's always a different flavor. Sometimes it's fruity uh, with berries, so I always use berries. Or I do like a peanut butter chocolate with the almond milk and that way they're getting the healthy fats, they're getting their vitamins, their, their calcium is the main thing. Um, I think a lot of people are concerned about giving their kid anything but cow's milk to not get the calcium, but that's false because you get more calcium in almond milk than cow's milk, cup for cup. So if you didn't know that, hopefully at least you can take that from this live video. And that's it. And also, milk is not necessary. I mean, to each their own, whatever you wanna do in your household is fine. But those that tell you that a child needs milk for X, Y, and Z, if they are consuming proper nutrition from food, it does not matter what they're drinking. They don't need to supplement with any type of milk. Um, look at this girl, she's getting after it. So, oh yeah, she's pretty much got, it's not even frozen anymore. Oh, buddy. See, that should show you how much she likes this oatmeal. What are you doing? Oh my God. Oh my goodness. So yeah. So that's it, that's it. But yeah, I'll do a different live on the drinks and we have to get ready to go night night, right? All right, everyone, have a great couple days and, but I'll talk to you soon. Bye.